Hey awesome ones, I'm Heather. And I'm Bill. And today we want to talk about seven simple ways that you can spruce up your home for spring. And it all starts in just a few seconds. And Heather, <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> for me? What a lovely gesture. <laughs> okay. Well, if you kind of ignore our acting skills, <laughs> uh, you'll notice what? that Bill has given me a lovely, actually they're potted flowers, so let's just sort of take them out of here. And I would suggest that you get some potted flowers yeah. as soon as possible because, you know, and, and kind of give them to somebody with a little bit of a gesture, like Bill. Like I just did? <laughs> yeah. Like, go to a florist or a nice little shop and have them wrapped up and perhaps mm -hmm. even put a little note, maybe just because, one of those just because notes. Uh, and that's the best time. It really is. Yeah, as a little surprise. Yeah. Or maybe you want to give it to... Uh, uh, one of your neighbors, you know, maybe there's an elderly, there goes Bill, or there goes Hurricane. Hurricane just took the paper, <laughs> the wrapping. All right, so ignore that little uh, dog in the corner, but no, seriously, maybe there's an elderly neighbor that could really mm -hmm. use a boost, and this is the kind of thing, this is our number one item, and uh, get yourself some potted, beautiful spring flowers. And talking about greenery, let's get to number two. And for number two, a lot of the home decor stores, what they have right now is fake or faux plants and uh, artificial greenery, that sort of thing. Yeah. So let's take a look at some of the things that I found. So all you need is a little corner of a room and then you've got this beautiful little sanctuary area. And don't forget to maybe buy some little rabbits or some little animals to hide amongst the flowers. And talking about flowers, oh my goodness, you almost have to do the sniff test these days in order to see if flowers are real or if they're fake. And these ones are fake. So we had a lot of fun searching yeah. around and going into the home decor stores. And another thing that we saw that was really kind of spring-like is, you know what? It's time to throw off all those kind of woolen blankets yeah. and heavy du duvet covers mm -hmm. and get into something a little more spring-like with your bedding. So why not get a nice crisp white duvet cover or floral sheets? and you'll kind of feel that you're at a bed and breakfast. And talking about breakfast, why not get a cookbook stand such as this one here? And well, this isn't a picture of a breakfast item, but what you can do is you can get a great cookbook and with lots of beautiful pictures and have this out on your kitchen stand and first of all it's nice decor but also kind of encourages you to eat something different and a lot of these ones are ways to eat something healthy. And if you haven't been to a bookstore lately, the cookbook section is like gigantic. <laughs> There's cookbooks for everything these days. There is, right? and I love it because I love the end result of what, <laughs> of what happens with them. He's always <laughs> talking about food, but you know, the one thing that I notice in these cookbooks too is there's a lot of books that are great for us people over 50. You know, there's a lot of healthy eating yeah. and all of those kind of ideas for you. So number five would be to start a garden. Yeah, like a, you mean an indoor garden? An or? indoor garden, yeah. that's exactly what I'm talking about and you can certainly start it now. So there are many cute planters and books and booklets on how to start a little garden inside and you might even want to start an herb garden and make something that's not only pretty to look at but if you've got basil, rosemary and maybe coriander those leaves will be delicious in one of those new recipes that you're trying out. So number six is, well, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. Take the cushions and the pillows that are on your sofas right. and your chairs and change them up for the season. So the great thing about changing over the pillows and the cushions 
is that, um, you know, I'm just going to give you an example. This is our winter cushion. You can see that it's really, really heavy and it's cozy as a state of mind. I think I showed that on a video a while ago. But what I can do now, a lot of the manufacturers, they're just selling the slip cover or the pillow slip covers for them. So I'll be able to open this one up here, unzip this, put the pillow in and there you go. We've got it all set here and you're saving a lot of money by not having to buy another pillow again. So another thing that caught our eye at these stores were the picture frames. Yeah. So when was the last time we took a picture from our phone and put it in a picture frame. Isn't that so true? Eh? All our pictures are on some electronic form. Mm -hmm. And uh, to answer your question, I don't really know. Because we got some great pictures that we've got it, you know, like maybe they're from New Year's or maybe they were a family reunion. Yeah. They're not doing any good just sort of sitting on your phone right there. It's nice to mm -hmm. have them, well, we're talking about picture frames right here, here also, maybe picture albums as well. Yeah. It's a nice little spring thing to do. It certainly is. And one of the things too is that, you know, a lot of the Walmart stores, there's also online mm. places where you just well, yeah, that, your phone. That's right? what I was just going to say. You can do it all online now where you just send in your picture online. You plug in your camera to your computer or you go right into the store and you do it right there. So there's like a Walmart store. Yeah, yeah. Like two that. options there. Yeah. So uh, anyway, let's take a look at some of the picture frames we saw. So take a look at all the different picture frames and kind of pick one out like your mom used to do. Then all you need to do is just hang them up on a wall and uh, everyone can see them. After all, who stops and looks at your phone? So we thought we'd give you kind of a bonus yeah. number eight. <laughs> and the bonus number eight is what not to buy when you're going around in these home decor stores. Because you know what? There's so many newfangled small appliances and that sort of thing. And you, you get kind of caught up looking at mm -hmm. them. And I mean, we just bought an air fryer not too long ago. That was a great purchase. Certainly was. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you know what? We should put, what I'll do with the air fryer is I'll uh, put that video at the end of this one so you can take a look at that because sure. we just love the air fryer yep. uh, you know or maybe uh, a good blender or something like that mm. yeah those are the kind of things that you kind of really need in your kitchen but then there are others that are not let's take a look at one of the things we found so this is an egg cooker and hey power to the manufacturer but I'm not buying this gizmo so sooner or later that little egg cooker <laughs> would go underneath in a shelf around our kitchen here, or you know, it'd probably end up in the garage. Probably, with everything else. <laughs> so we really hope that we inspired you yeah. to, you know, really liven up and freshen up your home mm -hmm. for spring. And you know, it's a, it's, it's a time of new beginnings and uh, I feel so, I love spring. I oh, hey, you know what? I love all the seasons as well, but I really love spring, really. And, and outside, you know things are coming alive there's new flowers mm -hmm. and tulips and daffodils so why not sort of bring the outside in and That's freshing good. it up with uh, a great new hint of spring and talking about putting a smile on your face it's time for the cuteness factor <laughs> our little hurricane and when hurricane comes on the scene we're kind of reminded to talk about some of mm -hmm. our up coming videos and so let's talk about a few of those. So over at the Beauty and Fashion channel which is youtube.com slash awesome over 50. Um, I've been looking around at the fashion malls and hey are you okay? <laughs> He's a little antsy today. But anyway, I've been going over to the fashion malls, picking out some new fashions to show you, some fresh ideas for mm -hmm. spring and summer, also some fresh faced makeup ideas and some hair tips. And by the way, every single day I'm on Instagram and I usually post, I post one of those stories and... <laughs> <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> I, think, I think he ate too much of that paper, but uh, anyway, he's okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back to my stories. Uh, stories over on Instagram where there's a little video and there's inspiration. And okay, we're on camera now. It's hard working with animals and children. <laughs> All right. Are you okay? 
Oh, he just wanted to give me a kiss, I guess. Anyway, he's okay. This is real life, guys. You know, you, we, we, we do this, we enjoy working with you, and uh, you know, we enjoy working with Little Hurricane as well. But anyway, yeah, just check out uh, in the search bar Instagram and you'll find me there. And usually I'm doing some inspiring kind of messages every day as well. And over here on the Inspiration Channel, um, we've got some travel tips coming up. And mm -hmm. Bill, you just got us press passes for the National Home Show. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And they're gonna, we're going to be looking for maybe some new technology mm -hmm. and some new gizmos and gadgets and, and things to kind of cozy up your home as well. So until next time, remember that Spring doesn't just mean spring cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Although you, we do do that, and actually, oh, Bill yeah. does a lot of the spring oh, cleaning. Oh, you know, you want it done right? <laughs> <laughs> Ask your husband. <laughs> Anyway, hmm, wait a minute, I think there was a diss <laughs> somewhere, but it does mean just spring cleaning, you know, for a little investment, you can have some nice flowers, some mm. greenery, change up those cushions, and maybe even preserve a memory or two sure. in a picture frame. So until we meet again, you know, spring into action, have some fun with decor. And keep it awesome. Keep it awesome.